to another Explore video and today we're just on the outskirts of Buxton in Derbyshire and we're at Carldale Lime Quarry and it's absolutely such a beautiful stunning location now it was established in 1898 by the new Buxton Lime Company and it carried on production until 1955 so a relatively short life and closed for Ooh, just over 60 years now but look at this so let's go have a look around and see what treasures we can find some old structure there got some wooden beams very very rotten that uh, looks like that's collapsed in, whether it was just like a little storage um, alcove, maybe. So we can see those little archways there. I think we need to try and get inside. Up the stairs. Wow. Right. It's time to get the uh, floodlight out and see if we can light this up a little bit. Right, so this is what we believe. So this, this bricked up area here, it's where the line would have come down onto one of these chutes, all rusted up to hell. Would have come down, loaded into like a wheelbarrow, trolley, some sort of uh, thing that they would have pushed along. Taken it outside here, where there would have been tram lines, which probably would have fed it on to the railway, which is just over there, so further down or further in that direction, whichever way it went. So those chutes, there are four of them in this particular archway. So there's what we've just been looking at. There's a the second one. And on the opposite side, three, four. And the archway roof is so perfect and it's just, it's just cut into that rock just there, looks like it's where rock meets brick. That is absolutely fantastic. Look at that. All done by hand, I expect. With whatever tools they had at the time. So, there's two of these, I think. So let's go back outside. Little meander along. So there's where the tram lines probably would have been. It looks nice and flat as if it was some sort of track bed. And round here, we've got another one. So, lovely brick arch again. We've got the four kilns again, so two there. That one's showing the little holes there, look. Uh, that one looks a bit worse for wear. And again, two more. So that's eight of them in total. Got the bricked up shoots at the back on all of them. And again, the brickwork just goes straight into that rock face. Isn't that lovely? So we can shine a light inside there and you can just make out the rock face again behind it. Can't really get it in. There you go, you can see it now, look. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, let's see what else we can find.
extraordinary um, uh, building that was and with all the tunnels and the brickwork and the carvings are. I'm going to follow this now, what we think could well have been part of the old tramway. Certainly uh, feels like it would be. Let's we'll see what else we can find further up. Okay, not sure what part of the uh, quarry complex this was, but it, it's got a, quite a few stories. So you've got this here, and then right up there, look, there's another layer of concrete buildings up there made of stone also. Whether we can get up there, I'm unsure. And whether they were some kind of chimneys, I'm unsure. Let's see if we get a better look. Now this looks like some kind of um, loading facility for wagons on the railway or the tramway. You've got the holes there which clearly dropped down into wagons on this lower section. Look at those winding wheels there from the mechanism. That is absolutely astounding. And there we go, look, two more holes there. You can only imagine the lime coming down and being loaded. I'd absolutely love to be able to see if there's a way up there. <sighs> there probably isn't, but we'll have a look. So it's almost about to give up. So it's carrying on walking down that way. And look at this. A flight of stairs presented themselves. So all we could do here is go up. So let's go up. And if we'll get far, but we'll see where we can get to. So there's the sound of a stone train just running down there. I don't think you'll be able to see it. So we're at the very top now. <clears throat> so just down there is where that loading facility was. Was just looking at with the with the round wheels. I'm a little bit out of breath. That was quite a steep climb. There's an old door there. <laughs> I'm not going to go far along here. But, we'll have a look up there in a moment. Okay, so that goes up there. So I think we'll have a little look through here. So this looks like it was some kind of little bridge. So there must have been a little, a bit there going across the top for the, the, the hand, hand pushed uh, wagons or whatever they use and the trolleys and there's a bridge actually intact over there let's go see that it's like an old hut here as well look so yeah here's that stone bridge still in situ I think we'll let's see if we can get up there and stand on top so here's your bridge Let's get across it. And it goes even higher up there. So that's where we've just come from, over there. So next up is a little hut, a little workman's hut look, or storage hut of some kind. Looks like Got a silver bowl there, as if like it's had an animal or something in there at some point. And as you walk onto the main site of the quarry, it just dawns on you how big this place is. Look at it, it stretches right around there. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the drone up. There's a constant air traffic above us from numerous directions 
which is a shame I'd like to have seen how big this was from above but just look how far it goes let's get up to one of these walls and we can just see how deep we actually are look at that the camera doesn't do it justice of how high this rock face is right let's pull this round a wee bit and have a look at that hill over there, see if we can get on top of that and see if we can get some sort of, at least, a kind of aerial view of this huge place. It's amazing how green it is here, considering what it must have looked like. It just shows you that even the most rugged locations, nature will take it back. Now I'm hoping this is going to take me to the top. What should I have to see? Looks like it's curving round. Wonder whether to try going up there or go a little bit further more. It looks a bit loose that does. Almost there. Absolutely out of breath. But almost there. So you got yourself a quarry over there. I'll get the name of that and put it at the bottom. Just there. There's a boiler. We'll try and get down there and have a look at that before we go. Look at the sheer height we're at now. I'd love to have got the drone out. But yeah, just look at the sheer size of this place. Okay, we've got some more ruins here. Uh, some deep holes. Not sure what these were foundations for, but clearly for something. And some brick remains just here. So here's the old boiler that we mentioned previously. From us at the top of the hill. I don't know. Looking pretty empty inside. So yeah, that's uh, pretty cool that is. So we're just about gone full circle because we're coming down to where that first bridge is, which we climbed upon at the beginning. So one last little thing, we found these little steps. So, carefully does it. We're gonna go down. It's all right, mum, I'm being careful. Slowly does it. And, oh, there's not much there at all. So there's those steep little steps that we just uh, carefully came down. I thought that was gonna be it. But lo and behold, more steps.
So there's that lovely creepy staircase we've just come down. I'm not going to film Joanne coming down it because she won't let me. Um, we'll have a little wonder around here first. So that's not going to go anywhere. Where we are, we're above that um, loading facility. So you remember earlier on in the video I said they look like two chimney stacks which looks more like a giant catapult. There's the loading facility just there. Some kind of chute just there, look. So they're definitely not steps. So if we're going down there, we ain't never coming back up. So she's still at the top of the stairs, so that's going well. Um, but look here. Got ourselves a little um, tunnel-y bit. And we could come out the other side. Which brings us out again. Just here, look, on the other side of what looks like a catapult. And all those chutes down there, which would have had all the, the lime coming down, ready for loading. There's a closer look. So there's absolutely no way down there, I'm not going to risk it. Because there's no way back up and it just looks as slippy as hell. So I think that's going to be about it. And that's just a dead end with a wall. And there again is that little tunnel we came through. <clears throat> so I hope you've enjoyed this insight into the limestone quarry. It's been absolutely probably one of the best locations we've been to. Nice little echo back there. So I'm going to make our way back up the steps make our way all the way back down that steep hill. If we see anything else, we will of course record it and put it on the end of the film. So if you like it, give us a thumbs up if you did, comment below if you did. I'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed it from me and Joanne. Bye for now. Oh shit, that's what I get. I'm holding on to dear life. This is going to be the end credit screen. Wow.